Here's the thing. Courier services. You order something and it says, oh yeah, we'll deliver to your door. Yes, that's awesome, isn't it? It sounds fantastic. I mean, they'll come here with the, with the car with all the stuff in it and they'll come with a parcel to me and they say, hello, here's your thing that you ordered. Oh, thank you, you go. But that's not really how it works, is it? They come to your door, knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, well, I guess he's not home then. Of course I'm not bloody home! I'm at uni! I'm or at work! Well, I don't work, I go to uni. But you, you go to work between nine and five. You're not at home waiting for your parcel. You can't take the day off just because you're waiting for a parcel. And then they fucking come to your door and they, then you're not there. And then they come to your door the next day and you're not there. And what do they do? They put it at some depot at the fucking other end of the town. And then you have to go there yourself. I don't have a fucking car. The bus doesn't go there. I don't know which buses go anywhere. I walk everywhere. So why do I have to sit around here waiting for that bloody courier coming around? In Norway, you order something, it comes to your post office, and then you go pick it up. Simple as that. If they had only used Royal Mail, which of course they don't, if they'd used Royal Mail, it would come to my door, they would say, oh, you weren't home. Okay, give it to my post office and I'll pick it up there. No! So yeah, I'm not at uni right now, which I should be, because I'm waiting for my bloody parcel. Might as well get naked. This is, um, maybe not a good idea considering that the window is open to give me light. I'll put my clothes back on. <laughs>